With over 40,000 people dead in just one summer in 1853, yellow fever swept the nation indiscriminately and few suffered more deaths in South Louisiana. New Orleans was nicknamed the city of the dead because the bodies just couldn't be buried fast enough. Bodies were stacked on the side of the streets, sometimes as high as a second story balcony, and no one knew the cause of the disease, having hit the city 23 times. A miasma is a noxious form of bad air that's said to hover over an area and cause diseases like yellow fever, cholera, all that kind of stuff. Now, this method of thinking is obsolete, but this was the earliest accepted form, and periodically cannons were fired into the air just to break up this miasma. As is tradition, once a loved one is placed in their tomb, they can't be removed for a year and a day. One theory on this suggests that it's because that's just how long people thought the disease was contagious in the dead body. Another reason is that that's just long enough for these corpses to decompose and burn up in the oven-like tombs since cremation was forbidden in the Catholic Church into the 1960s. During the epidemic, whole families were wiped out in a matter of weeks or days, not leaving enough time for everyone who died to be put in the tomb. The solution was to construct these rented tombs. Now, if two family members died close together, one can be placed in this tomb until the year and a day would pass, for a price, of course. Even during the brutal Louisiana summer heat like I'm experiencing right now, sometimes that just quite wouldn't be enough for these bodies to fully decompose, so the undertaker would take a long broom and sweep the remains towards the back of the tomb. There was a shaft that would go down into the dirt below where the remains can continue decomposing, while another family member is being placed in the tomb for a year and a day, hence where the term getting the shaft originated. Make sure you're not getting the shaft and come take one of the many cemetery tours in New Orleans to see these magnificent symbols of our culture for yourself. Be sure not to touch any of the tombs here though. You never know what or who you'll bring home. For more history, horror, folklore, and culture, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and find us on TikTok. I'm Kyle Crosby, and this is Louisiana Dread.